This video contains the interview of a predator with repeated offenses. During the run of the show To Catch a Predator, several of the men who were caught claimed that it was their first offense. Travis Fowler didn't bother to hide that he had been in similar trouble before, although he did try to downplay the situation. After speaking with who he believed to be a 13-year-old girl, Fowler drove across state lines to meet her. When he was caught during the sting operation, he didn't bother to attempt lying about why he was there. Okay, Travis, you're going to be uh, taken to the jail once we're finished here, okay? But I need to find out about uh, what brought you here and get some other information from you. Now, you can start and tell me how this started, or I can start asking you questions. Um, this is your opportunity to give me your side of the story. It's just basically a box either come up or I either was in the chat room myself and just what chat room? Yahoo. Yahoo? Yeah. Just pure just fun. That's all I wanted. And I obviously I'd I would have thought this somebody uh, that was in the stat state that she was would have uh no. But, but obviously not. And, uh, In the I, state that she was, what I missed something. She wanted the fun also, you know. What what gave you that impression? The things that she, that she said. A good actor. Actress. So you were on Yahoo. Do you frequent that chat room often? I've I've been having pleasure with adults in my my life. Okay, pretty much a good twenty years. You know, there's nothing to that to me, but this was something different, and that's where it led to. Fowler's responses are nervous and disjointed, which stems from the embarrassment and stress of being caught. Different how? Another experience. And that would be her first two. That's all I can say. That's all, that's all, I, that's all I can come about. It's just plain and simple. It's just, that's the only truth I know. That's it. There's no, no black or white. It's just one way. How old that's was it. she? I think 13. Okay, now you think or you know based on your chat? I, I know. It was 13. Transcripts are there. That's it. <clears throat> and what were your intentions when you got here? I was intentions to be pleasurable and pleasurable, but I, I might not have done the actual penetration. I just I just wanted to see how it went. That's all, you know. Okay. Now you're gonna have to define pleasurable for me and anybody else uh, who may ask me fellatio. what we're talking about. Fellatio. Having the lady have pleasure below. Mm hmm. And likewise, I guess. Okay, because the chat that I read didn't talk about much of that. It talked about well, that's what I'm saying. sexual intercourse. But see, that's that's how that happens. But that doesn't mean I was going to do it. You know what I mean? So. But you hope to. Well, I was just on her how it would be. You know what I mean? Just. Play by play by her ear. So, were you at your home when you were chatting with her? Yeah. Are you married? 
Uh, I have a girlfriend. She live with you? Yes, or do you live with her? I live. We live together and she lives with me. I mean, same thing. Do you have kids? She has a kid. How old? Five. Five. Boy, girl? Boy. Boy. You have a good relationship with him? Yeah. So they're at home? Right now? Yeah. Okay. How many computers do you have in your home? One. Do you all use it? Yeah. Do you, uh, do you have it set up where you only have places that you can look and then they have places that they can look, or how's it set up? Yeah, I just keep my password. Okay. Kind of... Walk me through how you get on your computer. Like, if you go in and you turn it on, is there a button that you push for Travis? Or I have a password that I go in on Yahoo myself. Mm -hmm. And that's basically it. But not the computer itself. It's not password protected. Just Yahoo. When you access Nobody Yahoo. Nobody really gets on the internet but me and she does things with it like crafts and things like that okay does she know uh, you chat yeah that's what she didn't know about this so I told it was a couple a couple a couple a couple of what a couple two people a man and a woman that that you were coming to see yeah for what I have pleasure with couples. So she knows that you travel to have relationships. Yeah, but that's, I really don't want her life to be ruined either, you know? So. She's okay with that? With you traveling to have relationships with other people? We got together and we knew, I knew, she knew what was hap what happens, but. Does she participate sometimes? She has. Um, how often? Fowler's girlfriend may find herself in an interview room in the near future since he has admitted that she knew of his activities. While it is most likely that she believed the other people involved to be adults, the police can't be too careful. Not very often, it's just sometimes. When we first met, she did, but she likes to be with me, but now probably won't be with me at all. Nobody will. Okay, well, you know, you're in a serious situation here. I'm not going to kid you and tell you you're not, but now we all make mistakes and we're all human and, uh, well, you know. I job already. If I don't show up, I guess, anyway. So, I mean, you know. Well, were you supposed to work tonight? No, I work in the mornings. Yeah. Well, you may have some explaining to do. When you get, when you get out, uh, but you know it's nothing that you won't live through. Yeah. Now I'd I'd like to help you here if I can. You know if I can get information from you that helps us get to the truth. There's not uh, really anything to say, but what I told you, that's it. Okay. Now have you been in trouble? in the past for the there same was, behavior? There was a girl that I was dating. She gave me a fake ID. She was tall at the time. It was kind of like, uh, basically, I was up there in Delaware and I was working and she was at a job and we met. We was had our time and she got in trouble and she had to tell everything she did I don't know, I guess they just asked her everything she did the days before that. And we broke up, and next thing I knew, um, I, I left to go back to North Carolina where I was at, and the Delaware State Trooper uh, told my dad, and, and basically my whole family was involved. And, and How old were you? Place. I think 22. 
And how old was she? It said it was 18 on the, um, on the ID, but I think You always get ID age. from your girlfriends to see how old they are? Well, that was, uh, that was my first time being with somebody that I needed to know. But I was well, uh, help me understand how this went down. Did you say, hey, let's have sex, but I need to see your ID first? Because well, that's ID the way first. I'm hearing it. I asked her about her ID first before I started going with her because she tall but she looked young. His actions make it clear that at the very least Fowler had suspicions about her age. There is still something about his story that doesn't ring true. I, I was younger then. Travis it sounds like you've gotten yourself in one bad situation after another. That was an accident. This is something I caused. Okay, so before you didn't feel like that you could have prevented. No, because I thought I was t I was in the right. You know. How long had you old, dated her? I think a couple of weeks, three weeks, four weeks or so. Okay. But then I went so back. what happened with that? Did you get charged and convicted? Um led to a lesser charge having sex with a minor but I never did the the other things you know what I mean the here there was three counts and I, ne I never done the other two but um, I played the one and, and they dropped two so okay you, you're gonna have to explain to me what this and this means because I'm I'm lost I'm okay Oral. Oral. And anal. And anal. I didn't you said do there it. were three yeah, and charges. I guess the kissing part was the third one. I don't know. They charged you for kissing? No, I don't know the third one. Oh. So, was. did you have a criminal record after mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Or did you get a diversion uh, or something well, like that? I went to... Um, I got a guardian, my grandparents, and they they took me in North Carolina, paid a victim's fee in North Carolina. They, I went back to North Carolina. That's how it worked, and I got a, a DA, and uh, he he pulled a, a deal, and um, I went to have probation for two years, and one Sunday I called, and I was leaving from North Carolina to go to Mississippi. And it was nobody picked the phone up. So basically, about November of ninety eight or ninety seven, no, ninety, they pulled me over for a speeding ticket, and they checked my criminal record and said that I'm habeas corpus because I didn't call in and I didn't keep up with the probation officer. So I went back and done. 37 days in the pen in Delaware and then after that that was that was all I had to do so your probation was revoked and you served out yeah time served that's what it was okay what about any other charges traffic tickets oh yeah well that usually anything else I actually have one I gotta go to November seventh. Uh, I was passing in a double lane to go to go to work. I was gonna pay the ninety dollars and go to court and see if he can reduce it down, but I won't make that one. I don't guess. Um, any other charges? Drugs? No, uh, no drugs. Criminal mischief? No. Nothing. What type of computer do you own? Uh, Windows Vista. Windows Vista. Okay. What kind of computer is it? Is it a uh, Dell or it's Gateway, Compact? Aspire, Aspire, I think. Okay. Is it a laptop or a desktop? Laptop. Laptop computer? What else do you have at your house? Do you use a webcam? I had one, yeah. 
You have a webcam? What about a digital camera? Yeah, I had one. Okay. And uh, what about any pornography? Yeah. What kind of pornography, Travis? We enjoy uh, together some things, and there's sites that uh, be able to pop up during the time that you look at other things, and that pops up too. Other things. What other things? Um, young girls. But that's that's I guess that's what probably you know toward the thing. I don't know. Yeah. So you and your wife both look at child pornography? No, no, no. Just you? Yeah. I mean, no, I don't. I don't even have any of that. You know what I mean? You have to. I don't. I don't go looking for that stuff. No. Okay. Will it be on your computer though, where you have seen it? I don't know if you really call it a child pornography site. There's no sites I've been to. It's just a bunch of videos, you know. They don't tell how old they are or anything like so that. So you enjoy young girls. I've never been with a young girl except for that one that was 18. That's the only one young girl I've been with. And a daddy one. And she stayed with me for a while, but she never worked. So, I mean, she went back home. When was this? About 2001 or two. The more Fowler talks, the more concerning his story becomes. It seems he may have gotten away with more than was originally suspected. How old was she? 18. She was of age. I mean, Where'd she go back home to? Uh, I'm not sure. You don't know where she lived? She, she lived, lived with you? She lived in Lebanon with her mom. and Then she moved out on her own. I don't know. I, that was just... What was her name? I don't remember that either. You lived with this girl and you didn't know her name? I've had a lot of girlfriends. Well, I'm sure you have, Travis, I but know. I want to know this one's name. I don't know. Now, I feel like you've been very honest with me so far. I am. But for some reason... I don't know her name. I really don't. Well, I want you to think about her name. I'm sure if you give it a shot, you can come up with a name for me. But she was of age. What's it matter there? Because I want to know her name. see her face, but I just, I can't picture her name. How long did she live with you? A couple months. And you don't do drugs? Mm -mm. What about the boy that lives with you? The five-year-old. Strictly friend. My, my girlfriend's son. He's your friend? I mean, I'm just saying we have a friendly relationship just like my son. You know what I mean? You understand my concern. Yeah, all these questions will pop up, I understand. And the more truthful you are now, the less you'll have to deal with later. Yeah, all I can tell you is I'm, I'm a good father to him, and I made a mistake, and I come down here. And I try to live life, I try to work hard. I made a mistake, that's all I can say. Stay's gonna cost me probably my everything. So where do you work? Parthenon Metals in Lebanon. I mean Laverne, Tennessee. Parthenon Metals? Is it steel? Yeah. What's the city again? Laverne. Laverne. Yeah. Just like Laverne and Shirley? Yeah. That was a great show, wasn't it? Okay. 
that and happy days. What do you do there, Travis? They call a floop operator. You put steel in a mill and then it runs through and you make steel tubing for things like uh, this. Truck seats and ATVs. How long have you worked there? Nine months, November 11th. Or November something, I can't remember. How far away is that from Murfreesboro? 30 miles. 30 miles. I'm going to go make a copy of this stuff real quick. Um, oh, I do want to cover uh, something with you real quick. I've got your chat log here. I need you to look at that. And now, is this one here, is that you? Yeah. You want to come and get me 2005? Yeah. That's your screen name? Yeah. Okay. And that next one, can you read it for me? Blue butterfly gnat. Can you speak up? Blue butterfly gnat. Is that the person you were chatting with? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and it was yesterday, 10-17? Yeah. When you started talking? And you did uh, set a date to come and see her? And you knew she was 13 years old? When faced with the chat logs, Fowler is hardly in any position to deny what he had planned. Yes. And you intended to have a pleasurable sexual relationship upon your visit? Yes. I gotta go out and make some copies and I'm gonna have to complete your citation. Um, I'll bring you a copy of your Miranda warning and your consent to search your vehicle. Now one thing I want to show you that I did write in here on this piece of paper is that the vehicle is located at Bowling Green Police Department. And I initialed that. So if you can initial that as well, showing that I didn't add or change anything that you weren't aware of. And I'm going to change the date on there as well for the 18th. Just going to mark through that one time. What is the actual charge? Can you tell me? It's going to be attempted unlawful transaction with the minor. Is, is, is that as bad as... Is that bad? It's a Class C felony. I know, but I'm just saying, uh, is, it, is it worse than what having sex with a minor in three degrees? Is that worse? Um, every state has their statutes and they're set yeah. up differently. Yeah. Um, I don't know what level that is. Yeah. Um, are you talking about in Delaware or is well, it somewhere yeah. else? At the time, that's what it was. I was just okay. wondering the, the difference in that here than what I had there. I mean, uh, I it it doesn't sound like it would be any different. Well, I didn't but have the actual penetration part, that's why I was just wondering, you know, it just... Well, that's why it's attempted. Okay. And it's classified as a Class C felony in Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah. Which, Delaware, we're not sure what the... Yeah. What is that? The group is a Class C felony is uh, five to ten years, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and they'll uh, handle that here or... You know, I, I don't know, since you traveled out of state, you may have other issues to think about. So, though, um, in Tennessee, too? Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, so one work? thing that we're going to want to do is look at your computer. Um, I can, I would like to get a consent from you to do that. That would be your call. Um, you know, I can write up the paperwork the same as we did for your vehicle. You can give us consent 
to uh, go into your home and and look at your computer or take your computer would that and any would would that would, would affect uh, what I the the charge would that be worse if I was to say no because I don't want you to have to bother her you know what I cannot um, it's your call as to whether you want us to do that or if we have to pursue other means to do so. If you want to that way, I just didn't want to have to have her involved in it. Well, now I'm gonna let you think about it. Um, I gotta go make some copies. I gotta fill out the citation. It's too late to hide anything from his girlfriend. Not only will the police come to collect the computer with or without Fowler's consent, but she will have to be interviewed. I got a cell phone, can I use it? Not in here. When, once we get you to the jail, you can make calls once they get you processed there, okay? But what I'm telling you is you have an option to do consent, which always looks good for you because you're cooperating. Um, and and I, that's the way I operate in my investigations. I'd rather have consent from you than have to go to somebody else and you know, say, well, we want a search warrant to get in the door or whatever. Um, it, but you it's... go up there in plain clothes, you have to go up there in a, in a department type thing? Yeah. That's, I mean, it's officer safety, Travis. I know, I'm just saying, I just... She's going to find out. I'm going to call her and I've got to tell her, I'm just saying. Well, you may not have that option to call her and tell her, is what I'm telling you. So. I'm going to go away for a few minutes, make some copies, get your citation filled ahead, out. Ahead, I'll come back, ahead, um, ahead, and I'll check on you. Do you want to do the consent? Yeah, it don't matter to me. I mean, you know, I'm, whatever I have is, that's that's the only bad thing I've ever done, according to me as an adult. You know what I mean? Everything else is it's just adult stuff, you know? Okay, we'll go ahead and do the paperwork. Okay, what was your address again? sign this one either where I change the date. You can sign by the date. Will I be transferred to Tennessee jail or will I be here? You'll be uh, taken to the jail here. Now, is this an apartment or? It's a duplex. A duplex? Is it marked by the? Okay. It's not A or B. What's the other apartment number that's a apartment duplex? So, if I had never done this and turned around and just had some bad problems or something, would y'all would have still convicted me and done all that stuff too? Pardon? If I have it just turned around and just forgot about it and just said no and didn't call her or anything like that and went back home and just like my regular life, would y'all would have had anything with me? What do you think? Fowler's questions make it sound as if he is trying to determine exactly what he can get away with without having to face legal consequences. What do you think you should have done? Oh, well, now, I mean, it's here, sure. It should have turned around, but I'm just saying, would I have, would y'all have went back to my house and got me? It's very possible you may have gotten a visit. 
Okay. Now you said it's a an aspire or inspiron. Aspire, I think. How do you spell that? A S P I R E. Where's it uh, usually located? In the house. In the bedroom. In your bedroom? Yeah. It's just it's laying up. You'll see it. Or it's folded down. Watch it. What other uh, computer equipment did you say you had? A webcam? Yeah. What about a digital camera? Yeah, I never used a digital camera much. It was too small. It just but busy. you have one that you'll allow yeah. us to look at? Yeah. Okay. It's only got pictures of faces, really. I just downloaded okay. them all. Um, what else do you have? you have flash drives that you use? I had a flash drive, but I didn't have anything put on it or nothing. So, I mean, you guys are sitting right there on the table. Okay, so flash drive. What else do you use with the computer? Do you use CDs? Do you burn CDs? I burn CDs with it, but not doing stuff like that. Okay, so you'll have CDs at the house? Of what? Of anything, there will be CDs there, is what I'm asking. It'll be music CDs, there'll be, uh, there's a, me and the girl we have up on there, we do some things, you know, while we're having our fun. Okay. We yeah. have a love swing, it's, you know, up in the air, you know. Mm -hmm. It's got a hook in there, and we put this swing in the closet, you know. Do you have a Game Boy or Xbox or anything like that? Mm -hmm. He has a Nintendo, I think. Does he? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read this to you, okay? And you tell me if something doesn't sound right or we need to change it around, okay? I hereby consent to a complete search of the premises, property, or vehicle located at residence. Which side is it? The left uh, side or the right? If they're facing us. When you turn in the stop light there, turn right. It's a it's a cul de sac with I mean it's a duplex, but which side is it on the right? Residents of Travis Fowler, um, Aspire laptop located in his bedroom, webcam, digital camera, flash drive, CDs, other computer related equipment. Yeah. Do you understand what all that encompasses? Okay. Now, also, I'm going to add on here or written materials that may be around your laptop. Okay. I uh, grant this consent to Catherine R. Reed, known to me to be an agent of the Office of the Attorney General, and to such other officers deemed necessary to assist. I know that I have a right to refuse to consent, and I voluntarily give up that right. I know that the agent does not have a search warrant. I have not been threatened or coerced in any way, nor have I been promised any favor or benefit. I have read this consent form, or it has been read to me, and I understand it. The date is 10-18-07, and the time is 2104. The consent is a mere formality. If Fowler had refused, they simply would have gotten a search warrant. I'm going to let you take a look at that and then I'll give you an opportunity to sign it.
Although Fowler was placed on an offender list, he did not learn his lesson. Seven years later, he was caught on school grounds with a friend who was there to pick up his child. The security officer recognized Fowler, and the authorities were alerted. 